New footprint. This used to be a water heater closet. Day one. Blowing this floated shower out, removing this wall, we are going to install a new tub as well as a bench in the back. As you can see here, we blew out and removed the water heater closet to open up the area. We tore it out to open up the space in this bathroom. It is Monday, time to install our floor tile today. Here we have about 10 inch PEX tiles to install for this bathroom floor. We're trying to get our layout. It looks like we'll have halves on this wall and halves by the door. It's gonna look great, good contrast. Black floor, white subway ceramic shower, nice bench, drywall is almost complete. We have to do some sanding, prime and paint. So without further ado, we're going to get right to it and get to work. Here we go. Fast forward and here we are. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's been about two weeks, 10 days on this remodel. Drywall smooth, painted. We have to cut in over here. The shower is complete. It will be grouted today. We're gonna clean everything up, install our medicine cabinets, our decorative lighting, our vanity, all that goes in tomorrow. So here we go, let's keep on pushing. Okay, time to run our color matched 100% silicone where the tub meets the tile as well as down here, as well as where the two planes meet. So let's get on with the silicone, here we go.
All right, we are wrapping this bathroom up. The shower is looking absolutely gorgeous. Check it out, it's all finalized. All we need to do is install our hinged panel over here. Floor looks amazing, we're installing baseboard now. Put the cabinet in, all of our fixtures. It's gonna be a beautiful bathroom, so we're gonna get to it. Stay tuned for uh, the final reveal. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's show you the final product. This bathroom remodel turned out absolutely gorgeous. Now, mind you, our clients have already moved into the bathroom. We will start with the floor. We installed a matte black hex tile. Now, let's quickly show you this first. New footprint. This used to be a water heater closet. Day one. Blowing this floated shower out, removing this wall, we are going to install a new tub, as well as a bench in the back. Okay, demo is complete. Everything is going very smoothly. As you can see here, we blew out and removed the water heater closet to open up the area. We tore it out to open up the space in this bathroom. We installed a new, large, beautiful teak vanity cabinet marble top, brushed gold faucets. All the fixtures in this bathroom are brushed gold. We installed new lighting. Of course, new baseboard, new toilet, towel bars. Let's take a look at this beautiful, gorgeous shower. We installed a three by nine subway ceramic at a vertical straight pattern. Everything is flat, square, of course, as per usual, a new valve and trim kit, shower head, and a glass panel here, hinged to the side wall. So we have a glass panel to keep the water out. Everything is beautiful. Everything is modern, clean, matte black on white. I hope you enjoyed this video. As per usual, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Tap that bell notification for future videos, and I'll see you on the next one.